So in this uh, SketchUp snippet, we're going to talk about um, using the Move tool, um, and a bit like a bit like you would use the uh, Push Pull tool, except um, yeah, in in ways where the sketch the Push Pull tool wouldn't work for you. So I have in my drawing um, these two uh, pieces, and they each have a forty five degree angle on them. They're also the same thickness and the same width. So if I uh, select one of them, you can see also that it's a component. If I select that and take my move tool, I can snap that corner onto that corner. Really accurate. So now I want to make this into um, some kind of cabinet uh, to hold something, but um, first of all, I want to make the top bit longer. Now, usually, uh, if you've got something that's got a flat edge on it, you would just double click on it and then take your push pull tool and then drag at the end. Now I have a problem here because I have this 45 degree angle on the end and if I take my push pull tool, what's going to happen is that and that's exactly not what I want. I want the 45 degree angle just to be further down and uh, so the piece is longer but still has a 45 degree angle on it. So in this case I need to use my move tool instead. Um, so I'm going to first select that surface and as I move it what's going to happen is the rest of the surfaces will extend and follow it. So here's my move tool. I don't need to click on the option key this time, so I'm not duplicating it. All I'm doing is moving it. So just grab it and drag it. And just like with the push pull tool, you can see bottom right corner, my distance is correct. And I want to uh, drag this and make, make this 1,800 millimeters longer. And there now by just dragging, taking the move tool and dragging the surface, you can see that the surfaces that are attached to it have extended along with it. And so that's how you use the uh, move tool to extend an angled surface.